Oh, hi everyone. My name is Lee Krizka, and I'm a member of the Hoffman Estates Arts Commission. This year, the Arts Commission has decided to try something new, and we're going to have, we have an egg decorating contest. This contest was sent out in the uh, Citizen as of March 1st, and one of the ways that um, you can get information is to go to the Hoffman Estates Arts Commission website. And that website is www.hoffmanestatesarts.com. And then you go to the button called Special Events, and you'll get a picture of how the uh, flyer looks and how information looks for the guidelines. Inside that document will be another button that you can click that you'll be able to print the guidelines as well as the bottom half of a registration form. Uh, this contest is for the residents of Hoffman Estates. So you'll notice on the registration form that we've already included the name of our city here when you fill out the form for us. One of the things that we want to make sure that you also understand is that the eggs need to be supported so that they can be shown in a display case. Okay, one of the first ones I wanted to show you is the traditional method of displaying an egg. It's a little plastic container that you can just set on your counter and put the egg inside of it. Another that we have around our house is a fancy designed container to put eggs into with a little flower on it. And then some of these other eggs that I have are using the base of an egg carton to put at the bottom of it and covering it up with some fancy paper. Several other kinds have to do with making a special base out of felt using a ribbon to get it to stand, putting some felt on the bottom of it so that it has some degree of ability to stand by itself. And the last one is using a lay to put at the bottom of a collar for this particular egg. One of the other requirements of submitting an egg to this contest is that the egg must be blown. Now some of you may know what a blown egg is like, some of you may not. But I've been able to research the web and found a place where you can go that will show you how to actually blow an egg. If you go to the youtube.com and in the search key put in modern mom, you'll see a, a list of items on the right hand side and one of them will say how to blow an egg. And as I looked at it, I thought it was interesting because at the very end, it shows you how not to blow an egg because the lady happens to break the egg as she's making the holes into the egg. So you need to be careful in order to, to get that egg blown. So we've seen some of the examples of the eggs that, we, that you're able to use and be able to decorate with. All you have to do is get your juice, creative juices running and submit all kinds of different things that we're hoping for anyway. When you've completed your eggs, we'd like you to bring your eggs to the village hall. And there are three specific dates and times that we request you bring those eggs in. The first one is on Monday, March 28th, from 3 to 7 p.m. The second is Tuesday, the 29th, from 9 to 12. Many of you know Sue Lesson, and she'll be the person who will be receiving these eggs. Also, the final day is March 30th, which is Wednesday, and we will accept the eggs from 9 to 5 p.m. Again, see Sue Lesson. When you bring the eggs into the village, what we will ask for you, in addition to bringing the egg, is to fill out a registration form. And once again, this can be received from and printed from the Hoffman Estates Arts Commission.com website. Or when you bring it in, Sue will have some copies there for you to complete. We'll be asking for your name, address, phone number, and your email address. Um, when you do that, that registration will contain a number. And from that point on, your egg will be displayed using a number instead of using a name or anything. So the egg will have uh, a number by it. And if you see like uh, some of the things that you've seen here, there are a group of them, then two or three eggs may contain just one number. Not each individual egg needs to receive a specific number.
The eggs are going to be displayed outside of the um, meeting rooms at the back end of the village hall and using the historical commission's uh, glass cases to store them in. So once they're in after the 30th, you're welcome to come and view the eggs that are there to show that the kind of eggs that we have received and that aren't going to be voted upon. Voting will take place by two organizations. One will be the Hoffman Estates Arts Commission, and the other will be at a luncheon sponsored by the Senior Commission on April the 6th. And they'll be given a ballot and asked to fill out uh, their, uh, their choice for the best one, two, or three. And we've chosen one, two, or three because there are going to be some gift certificates available for those who are chosen in that order, one, two, and three. The eggs have to be picked up sometime after the 11th of April. And also that week is the day, week that we will notify the three people who have won the contest. When we do that, we're going to invite them to come to a meeting of the Arts Commission that will be held on Wednesday, April 27th, in the evening. And at that point, we will give them their gift certificates and take a picture and hopefully get, the, get, get them into the newspaper to show the awards that were given. There are gift certificates available, and there will be gift certificates for those who win this contest. Um, and we hope that you will enjoy decorating your eggs and bringing them in. Just get those creative juices rolling. Look forward to seeing your egg very soon.